What is up you guys, it is Tomice45 here and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a one-handed mode feature on any Android device. So if you guys have probably noticed a lot of the big smartphones nowadays like the Galaxy S6 or the Nexus 6 and a Galaxy Note 4 and other big devices with a 5 inch screen have all these features built in. And for people who already have big devices like me, who has a uh, my phone like a real, some of these features aren't always built into every Android device. And even if it is, it may not be completely to completely satisfying to your liking, or it may not work for you all the time because everyone's hands is not the same as others. So. I'm going to be showing you guys a alternative to a one-handed mode that should hopefully help you out a bit more than most other one-handed mode features on other smartphones. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to get that on your Android device. Okay, so before you do this, you will need to make sure, one, that your Android device is rooted. If you don't know how to do that, just go on Google and search how to root space the name of your Android device. Like for me, for example, I'm using my MyPhone on real space the model number of your Android device. If you want to find out what model number your Android device is, go into your settings, then scroll down to about phone. And you should see your model number there. In case you don't in case you don't that may vary for you depending on what Android device you're using so be sure to check on Google on how to check your model number for your specific Android device then go in and search for it find a guy that can help you and follow that guy very carefully because rooting does void your warranty then once you're rooted then once your Android device is rooted you can go ahead and come back to this video to continue the next thing you want to do before you do this is to install an app called Expost Installer, which I left a link to in the video description below for you to download. Just tap on the link and open it in any browser you want from your Android device. Then scroll down to where it says download, tap on it, then download the file itself. Then wait for the APK file to download. Then once it finishes downloading, go into your notification center, tap on it, and then in case it says something that about installation being blocked, you need to make sure unknown sources is checked in your settings. For some Android devices, it's in settings, then it's in security, and under device administration, you should see an option that says unknown sources. If you don't, just tap on it, then tap OK. And in case you don't see it here, that may vary for you. So be sure to also check on Google on how to check unknown sources for your specific Android device. Then once you make sure it's checked, go ahead and go into your file manager like ES File Explorer or any or your built-in file manager. Find a VK file that you downloaded before and then tap on it, then tap install, wait for it to finish installing. Then once it finishes installing, tap open. And if this is your first time opening it up, go to where it says framework, then tap where it says install slash update. Then it should be asking you for root permissions. So be sure you tap grant or allow. Then once you've tapped that, you should get a pop-up asking you to reboot your Android device. So just tap okay, then wait for your Android device device to finish rebooting then once it does finish rebooting and you're back up at your lock screen go ahead and unlock it then once then once you've unlocked it go back into this app then tap where it says download and in downloads tap the search icon here at the top tap the search icon here at the top and then search for the name of the module itself called one-handed mode for all devices tap on it and then swipe left and download the latest version of the module itself as of the date of this video it's 2.4 tap versus download wait for it to finish downloading and then you should get a pop-up asking you to install it tap where it says install then wait for the module itself to finish installing then once it does finish installing tap where it says download at the top then tap modules and make sure that the module itself called one-handed mode is checked make sure you tap on the box here at the upper right for the module itself then tap the back button at the top left then tap framework and then tap soft reboot it may ask you for root permissions again so be sure you tap allow or grant 
and then wait for your Android device to finish rebooting. Then once it does finish rebooting and you're back up at your lock screen, go ahead and unlock it. And then go into your app drawer and find an app called One Hand Mode. Then go ahead and open it up. And from here, you can change the settings for the one handed mode for apps and the notification center. Go into where it says setting for apps and you can adjust the settings here to whatever you feel is best. I suggest you put here for left and top, you put here at least 150 or 100 to test what it looks like. If you if you're like me and you don't know what to set exactly, you can only make a you can always choose a, a preset that's already built into the app itself. So hold on guys. It's not working. Anyways, yeah, you can change it to wherever you want the one handed mode to be, bottom left, bottom right, bottom right big, squash down or wherever you want. And then once you've added all the settings, make sure you tap enable here. Make sure you enable it by tapping on the toggle at the top, then tap apply. And then you should see the one handed mode working on your Android device. And that should apply to your whole Android device, including your launcher, all your apps, including your app drawer right here. You should see something just like this. And you can and if you want to, you can also apply this to your notification center as well. And you can always turn that on right here and scroll down if it would just scroll down for me. Scroll down. Hold on, guys. Yeah, you can always apply it here if you want. And if you ever want to turn this off from inside here, just tap where it says on and then tap apply and it should get rid of it right away. You can also apply this to your notification center. You can change the left and top to be 150, 180 or whatever you feel is best for your specific Android device. Or you can, like I said, you can always choose the ready-made presets. That's already built in, bottom right, bottom left. Choose whatever you want. And once you've added all the settings, just like so, just make sure you turn it on, then tap apply, and it should apply to that specific app or your notification center. And now every time you open it up, you will see it like this. And hold on guys, I'm going to turn this off for you right now. And in the settings of the app itself, you can always show a notification for toggling here, the notification center. So you can toggle it on or off whenever you feel like it. Hold on, guys. Yeah, and you can always change it to, you can always add a toggle here in the notification center to edit it right away for your apps or your notification center. You can also make the notification transparent. You can also add a toast for toggling as well. You can always show a solid background and you can change the color to whatever you want it to be. And you can always change what that toggle in the notification center will be for. It can be for apps, notification center, or both. You can change it to whatever you want. And as long as you edit all the settings here, just make sure you tap apply and it will apply all those changes right away. And from there, guys, mm, so far it has been working pretty well for me. I haven't seen any problems with it. It works quick. It's very convenient for most apps. And so far, you shouldn't be having any problems with this. And uh, either way, guys, that is it. That is how to get a one-handed mode for any Android device. Now, if you guys like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up because that will definitely help me out. And if you have any suggestions on what I should do next or if you have any problems with this whatsoever, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. And while you're at it, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I got tons of more content coming your way. I really And thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys will like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. I left all those links in the video description below. Once again, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. This is Demisa45 signing off.